Шановні колеги, я хочу запросити до мікрофона. Міро, Міро, ви тут? Yes, hello, uh, I'm here, so uh, do you listen us? I listened to you perfect, so I hope you listen me and I will try to share my presentation. Is this okay for you? Yes, we do hear you. Well, everything is okay. Please share your presentation. Okay, perfect. So, uh, good morning, dear colleagues. Uh, good morning from Slovenia, from Ljubljana. And first of all, I, sh I have to say that yeah, I'm deeply moved by the presentation of my respected colleague. Uh, only now I do realize, uh, really realize the circumstances on which you find yourself and carry out your noble mission. So, so first of all, let me express my gratitude, proud and honor um, to be able to attend this conference and especially as a speaker. So thank you for your trust and congrats, uh, congratulations on excellent organization in all respects. And yeah, on this behalf, yeah. Большое спасибо организаторам конференции. Для меня большая честь не просто принимать участие в конференции, а еще быть спикером. Большое вам спасибо. On this behalf, I would like to once again uh, regard all Ukrainian researchers, information specialists, librarians, and also funders uh, on the end who are ensuring to run the system so successfully despite the well-known, extremely complex and tragic conditions. Uh, uh, today, I will talk about democracy. Democracy in the light of information literacy. Last but not least, the Ukrainian resistance represents a fight for democratic values. Yeah, and these democratic values, the civilized world has already recognized as a movement and the basement for the sustainable development uh, of a society. So, I would like to say that, yeah, we live in a world of significant differences between different social environments and differences in social development are breeding ground for the ambitions or different political economic views. And the problem is that those different political and economic views undermine well-being and democratic social development sometimes. And this additional the economic crisis of the beginning of the millennium and the COVID epidemic showed how vulnerable the global community really is. And the war in Ukraine now shows the complete rigidity, uh, rigidity and impotence of decision makers in solving political and economic dilemmas of the benefit of, for the benefit of community. Мы живем в мире, где существует громадное противоречие между социальными сферами. Экономический кризис в начале нынешнего столетия и эпидемия COVID показала, насколько хрупкое мировое сообщество. Война на Украине показывает полное непонимание и полная неспособность людей, принимающих решения, разрешить Uh, 
обществу потребуется серьезно пересмотреть все демократические процессы принятия решения. Mm -hmm. so after all the of 21st century, society will need uh, a comprehensive consideration, a strategic of democratic decision-making process. But what exactly is democracy? Democracy is supposed to represent one of the highest values, which is based on respect for law, mutual respect, respect for differences, respect for human rights, and what is the most important, democracy based on knowledge and credible true information. However, credible and true information, it's not enough. It's also necessary that people can use information uh, properly. In this regard, the diversity of information literacy is important to understand. We are talking about digital literacy, scientific literacy, medical literacy, etc. But unfortunately, we are facing with very interesting phenomena. The development of IT technology and the digital literacy is relatively inversely correlated with information literacy. So that means in the jungle of data and in the jungle of information, the digit in the digital environment. And yeah, uh, in many times, in the name of freedom of speech, we can often come across files of cultural information. Что вообще такое демократия? Демократия по классическому определению это одна из самых высших ценностей в современном обществе. Демократия должна базироваться на уважении закона, уважении всех противоречий и уважении к правам человека. Самое главное должна базироваться на правдивой, честной информации и знаний. Но интересный феномен развития IT-технологий и цифровой грамотности обратно пропорционально развитию информацион, информационной... So at the beginning of the millennium, we heard fairy tales that thanks to internet, we would no longer need librarians or libraries. But today, librarians are needed more than ever. So, uh, hold on, that's important. Казалось бы, с развитием цифровых технологий роль библиотека и вообще нивелируется. А что получается? Наоборот, сейчас библиотека и библиотеки как раз требуются всем людям. Now, how does science work in these circumstances? As mentioned, COVID has shown a huge gap in trust between academia and wider community. This is the responsibility of the science community. I'm sure that it is like so. It is the academia that must respond to the challenges that are on the table. And this will require significant cultural changes in scientific research work. A key change will be the transition, transition from competitive to co collaborative science. In this connection, the share of stable funding of science must increase which will open up careers, especially for young researchers. And yeah, related to this uh, are changes in the system of assessment of scientific work and the necessary connection to the local community with research institution. А что вообще представляет собой наука в современном цифровом обществе? COVID показал, продемонстрировал гигантский пробел между учеными и э, нуждами общества. И, соответственно, э, роль науки нужно пересматривать, в том числе и финансирование, и социальные аспекты, и те э, проблемы, которые научные, э, научные учреждения решают. Все это нужно пересматривать, и в том числе должно быть совершенно иначе образов... организована подготовка молодых ученых. So all uh, circumstances which were listed and changes are closely related to the modern practice of open science. Now, open science is the practice that provides open information resources and thus provides the conditions for information literacy. But not only that, open science motivates the community to connect, thereby establishing the conditions uh, for restoring trust in science. Open science, therefore, does not advocate science as exclusive club but science is a democratic value that belongs to all citizens. And since we, know, since we know that academic libraries are the central promoters of open science, the importance and role of academic libraries in these complex circumstances 
is therefore extremely important with promotion of qualitative system of assessment of scientific work, with providing, for example, infrastructure to implement open science, with promotion, open publication, citizen science, etc. Academic libraries directly influence changes in the scientific landscape and the relationships uh, within it. Продвижение качественных систем оценки научной деятельности, предоставление инфраструктуры для того, чтобы заниматься открытой науки, продвижение публикаций в открытом доступе, поддержка практикам ответственного отношения к научным данным. Now a few words about some basic principles of uh, changes in assessment of scientific work. Scientific work must assessment of scientific work must be based on the quality of work itself, not to the quantitative values or visibility of the publication platform, such as it is impact factor. So assessment reforms are based on many declarations and resolutions. And please allow me just to list three of them. First, the Dora Declaration, then Leiden Manifesto, and the latest, uh, the Agreement on Reforming Research Assessment from July this year, which was created in uh, cooperation with many European stakeholders. The Re European Commission, Science Europe, Univers uh, European University Association, and uh, with the uh, League of European Research Universities. And uh, I'm glad to say and that despite of difficult situation in Ukraine, is also active in this field. We can see that four organizations have already supported this assessment, but it's extremely important uh, in these uh, uh, tough times. And of course, I invite all other funders to join. Uh, труда, а не на платформе, где э, эта публикация размещена. Э, поэтому я предлагаю рассмотреть всего лишь три примера декларации. Это Дора, для, э, манифест Лейдена и э, соглашение о реформировании э, оценки э, исследований. Это э, платформы, которые э, э, движения, которые поддерживают э, совершенно новые отношения к, к, к оцениванию научного труда. И несмотря на то, что на Украине сейчас такая трудная ситуация, я уверен, что Украина тоже поддерживает эти, эти, эти движения. We can also see that there is a translation of Dora Declaration into Ukrainian language. Uh, in any case, the supporting of role, uh, the supporting role of academic libraries is important in the implementation of such assessments. Be active, inform, and raise awareness among researchers and decision makers. And above all, do not forget the young researchers who are the drivers of the development in this field. When we talk about the urgent transformation of libraries, which is actually this conference all about, uh, is about, we must emphasize that this transformation follows the previously mentioned cultural changes in science. Uh, the challenges of restoring trust in science, implementation of knowledge in the community and stronger connection between the academy and uh, community are successfully solved by practices of open science as mentioned before. But what is the role of academic libraries in all this? The first and the probably most important role of academic libraries in supporting open science is to provide the necessary infrastructure. The transformation of libraries in this respect, and I think that this is very important, must take place from focus on library holdings to focus on services. With the establishment and operation of, for example, repositories, uh, information support of open science, for example, copyright clearance center, etc., 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 and for example, with supporting citizen science, academic libraries play the role of an essential link in the branch infrastructure of open science. And in order for libraries to be able to do this, of course, one very important thing is also uh, uh, appear, appears, and this is 
knowledge and skills which are needed. Therefore, it is imperative that transformation take place also in this area. For example, to the classic skills of the bibliographic profession, it's absolutely necessary to add skills in the field of supporting open science infrastructure. Итак, в новых условиях роль библиотек университетских в предоставлении инфраструктуры для обмена опытом по развитию открытой науки, управление репозиториями, у которых прекрасная репутация, которые основаны на честных принципах, информационная поддержка открыт, открытым научным ресурсам, информационная поддержка публикациям в открытом доступе, использование copyright clearance center, то есть центров по поддержке авторских прав для того, чтобы для определения правильности пользования информацией, заключение новых, принципиально новых соглашений с, с издателями, соглашения, в которых будут указаны полностью журналы с полным открытым доступом и включение в этот общий процесс издательств университетов и создание самое важное контакт центров по гражданской науке все это на базе университетских библиотек yeah it is also important uh, that academic libraries support the establishment and institutional of an institutional policy of open sharing of research uh, within institutions which should complement the previous mentioned assessment reform. In doing so, your key goal should be for your researchers to retain copyright as much as possible. So this is one of the key tasks and the, the key goal. Retain copyright on your research work. Автору принадлежит как можно большая свобода в использовании собственного авторского права. То есть это основное, чтобы автор сохранял авторские права на свое произведение. Provide researchers with a large publication landscape as possible. Academic libraries should encourage researchers to publish in fully open journals. If possible, in those where researchers do not incur additional costs for APCs, for hybrid journals, journals with traditional journals with impact factor, try to enter into transformative agreements, try to relieve researchers of APC payments. This should be the next main goal, the relief researchers of APC payments. Very important for university libraries to keep the first and main task. For the researchers, they should be the author's right to their own work поддерживать публикации и, и, поддерживать, и поддерживать публикации в журналах с полностью открытым доступом, обеспечить прозрачное понимание APC, то есть за что платятся журнал, деньги за публикацию Open Access. Now get involved in to international in international connections. Do not allow your system to be isolated from global trends of development. I'm sure that you are doing like. There are many professional international platforms for exchange of knowledge, for example, LIBER, IFLA, ASAP, European Citizen Science Association, and on the end, Coalition S. Coalition S is informal association of founders of science with which together solve the challenges of modern scholarly communication in the light of open science. And Slovenian Research Agency is member of the Coalition S since the early beginning. At this point, I would like to invite you become coalitioners because membership does not represent any pressures or, or obligations, only many advantages. Еще еще очень важно это развитие международных контактов, развитие контактов с подобными университетскими организациями, включение и подключение к такой к таким организациям как Plan S инициатива. Я, кстати, вас приглашаю. И не, не, не обязываю, но приглашаю включиться в эту, в, эту, в эту коалицию по обмену, открытому обмену знаний. Обмену знаний. As mentioned, uh, it is important to provide research with the wide publication landscape. Publications from Horizon Europe and European Research Council programs can be published free of charge on the Open Research Europe publishing platform. This is an opportunity and use it. It is an outstanding platform. It represents all key feature of the changes that open access brings. Uh, 
Приглашаю вас присоединиться к данной инициативе, в рамках которой можно Open Research Bureau, в рамках которой можно публиковаться бесплатно на основании предоставления полного открытого доступа к публикациям. Now, responsible research data management is one of the most important practices in open science. In this area, there are many, I would say, questions uh, and concerns from researchers. Encourage your institutions to establish research data management policy according to FAIR principles. Libraries should follow the transformation in this regard by getting new skills to help and to assist uh, researchers with data management. Data librarians, data stewards, and similar new professional profiles are largely re related to the operation of uh, libraries. An important role of libraries in this field is also training of researchers and the preparation of various tools for working with data. You don't need, for this, you don't need large financial investments. For example, our library prepared the online service DIROS data, which makes, easier, uh, which makes it easier for researchers to work with, with research data. And this is very simple services. Uh, it is supported by world-trained information specialists. But we uh, trained those information specialists through free uh, uh, accessible webinars and other events uh, through World Wide Web. And what is the most important, use services of European Open Science Cloud, EOSC. This is outstanding uh, uh, opportunity uh, for researchers, for libraries, and yeah, building such uh, services, EOSC is absolutely essential, uh, uh, essential additional tool. Uh, for your institutions. Еще одно важнейшее направление, очень важное для ученых и которое должно поддерживаться библиотеками, это система, это управление, ответственное управление научными данными. То есть даты, данные, на основании которых пишутся статьи, должны быть абсолютно прозрачными, не всегда открытыми, но абсолютно прозрачными. И есть немало организаций, в том числе указанная на, на экране, где поддерживаются принципы честного обмена информацией, честной методологической информации каждого исследования. Я вас приглашаю, потому что очень много, это очень важная задача для библиотек. Библиотеки этим могут заниматься. You are also invited to use our service, Dearest Data. You can use web service or even if you want and if you need, you can contact our information specialists. They will assist you. By the way, uh, uh, allow me to, uh, to uh, give you this, let's say, uh, offer. It's totally free. I mean, without any, any uh, obligations and also without any charges. Uh, сайту это бесплатная консультация бесплатные репозитории вы можете э, и пользоваться полностью бесплатно и присоединяйтесь заходите на сайт и присоединяйтесь к нашему сообществу э, информационных специалистов now uh, we don't have a lot of time so I, I, I will try to, to do some, some, some uh, let's say uh, speedy, speedy uh, explanations of a few slides but allow me maybe uh, uh, one minute um, the academic library also should encourage early and open sharing. Early and open sharing is a new practice of open science, but it's practice with many benefits. Just allow me three uh, or four. First, increased visibility, then international recognition of researchers, especially younger ones, then early announcement of research and also what is the most important, maybe. If you, if you use, for example, uh, um, a, a, reg a registration report, this is one of uh, uh, options, or one of solutions of early and open sharing, your methodology of your research work will go through peer review. So that means that if you publish your methodology in, in, in certain, uh, let's say, journal or in Open Research Europe or when, wherever, your methodology will be peer reviewed. So this is additional, this brings additional value to your uh, research. Uh, I want to invite you to join the 
открытого распространения и открытый обмен научной информацией, потому что это рекомендовано, во-первых, программам Horizon Европа. Это когда результаты исследований регистрируются заранее. Это очень важно для того, чтобы, особенно для молодых ученых, чтобы достичь большей цитируемости, международного признания, заранее сообщить о своих, о своих научных разработках и еще и получить предварительное peer review, то есть дополнительное рецензирование. Now only a few words about citizen science. Um, academic libraries should promote the concept of citizen science, and this concept is one of the key methods, as we said before, for restoring trust in science, and also for ensuring information literacy for wider community, for citizens. It's especially important that academic libraries build so-called contact point for citizen science, and this is also something that you need a lot of investments, only some let's say skills and energy uh, and there are two main goals of such centers one is to uh, offer libraries infrastructure from premises to make a spaces to i don't know what the information resources and the second is to connect different stakeholders so in this respect connecting with public libraries is of utmost importance Пару слов о гражданской науке. Гражданская наука это, – это мостик между библиотекарем и, 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 и широким обществом. Библиотека должна стать контактным центром, потому что, с одной стороны, э, приглашать ученых, с другой стороны, э, приглашать как можно больше людей, чтобы они принимали участие в движении гражданской науки. Okay, here is a, a list of, of, of tasks, but I will not list it uh, uh, one by one, as mentioned, connecting stakeholders and infrastructure. And the last slide, uh, yeah, I would, yeah, I'm sorry. And the last slide, I would like to say that open science raises the scientific excellence and visibility of academic institutions and also supports connecting universities uh, and other research organizations with the local community, what is also promoter of scientific excellence and, as we mentioned, increase information literacy of citizens. Uh, information literacy of citizens is essential for sustainable development of democratic society and so support it with all of your operations and future missions. Движение открытой науки поднимает, улучшает академическое, академическое отношение и распространяет в общество принципы, принципы, принципы открытого общества и подчеркивает демократические ценности. So this was my speech. Uh... I'm open for any question. As I mentioned in the video, I'm strictly informal. So please, uh, if, you, if you need any information or question, or if you try to correct me, please do not hesitate now or even via email or some, uh, some other uh, 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 means. <laughs> Пишите, задавайте вопросы. Не стесняйтесь задавать вопросы. Давайте, пишите. Щиро дякую, Миро. Thank you very much. Я нагадаю участникам, что это был Мир Кушник, директор Центральной технической книжницы, Центральной технической библиотеки Университета Любляны. Миро занимается величезной громадской работой в Европе, с открытой наукой. И также вы все видели первые ролики 
перші дні фашистського, рашистського вторгнення в Україну, коли міру першим надіслав серед лідерів бібліотечної інформаційної справи Європи, надіслав нам відеодекларацію, де він засуджував вторження незалежну, незалежну Україну. Я хочу сказати, Міра, про те, що до вас є питання. Я ці питання вам перешлю потім в листі, бо зараз за того, що в нас були два рази тривоги, в нас переривався зв'язок. Міро, я тобі надішлю питання від наших слухачів. Я буду відповідати всі питання від наших партиципантів до вас. Немає часу, як я вже сказала, переривався зв'язок з причини того, що в нас була повітряна тривога. Інтернет-коннекція була зв'язана з-за радіо-сигналів. Ми вибачаємо. 